Hello, people! A very good morning from Guatemala. I just woke up and it is sunrise time and I can see the smoke coming out from one of the volcanoes. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's right there and it's so cool. Uh, I'm loading on my bike, which I rent here. And I will be traveling via Guatemala a little bit. I researched this country and it should be super beautiful. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, a very good morning. I'm staying in a very beautiful hotel. Uh, just arrived yesterday. And I was surprised how short was the flight from Atlanta. How cool is that? How cool is that? And here we are. I have my favorite meal of the day. It's breakfast. Yay! Today we start in Antigua, Guatemala. And we go through Pastores, Paramas, Akatinanga, Patitia, then we go here we are Patsun and Godinas and we arrive to Pana and we'll spend the night here. And we are avoiding this part of uh, Lake Atitla because of safety issues. I just left and this is my rental bike I show it to you a little bit later for now I'm just getting used to the size to how I sit on it and how it turns all that stuff but it's super comfortable and I am happy 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 another great day in my life you know is the good part. And I finally have a bike specific for this type of terrain. I expect a lot of fun for the next couple of days. Today I'm riding to Panahachal at beautiful Lake Atitlan. And on my right I will pass through some towns and I found out that it is very hard for me to pronounce the names of these towns. I mostly see them written and it always takes some time for me to figure out how to say that. Uh, for Panahachal, for example, I tried all the options before I got someone to help me with that. Uh, so today I take my time to explore Lake Atitlan and enjoy the views of its waters, the sky and volcanoes around. I 
don't know much yet about Guatemala, except that this is a country of volcanoes, beautiful landscapes, coffee and chocolate. And I was dreaming about watching Fuego Volcano so much. I had it on my map for years before I finally got here. <coughs> it is an active volcano year-round and on clear nights you can see fireworks coming out of its top. Volcanic activity always amazes me. We humans are so fragile comparing to all the nature forces out there, uh, but we still exist, living our lives and worrying about everyday problems. Lake Atitlan, right behind my back. The scenery in Guatemala is just out of this world. It's like exactly how I expected it to be, but even more. Yeah, with all these volcanoes and lakes and clouds. And the weather for uh, riding is just perfect. It's not too warm, it's cool enough and it's not too cold so this is awesome and this is my bike for this trip yes i know this is honda xr250 tornado a perfect bike for guatemalan dirt roads it is dual sport single cylinder and its dry weight is about 240 pounds which is 110 kilos i was given a choice between this one and klr 650 uh, took honda considering this trip is hotels only and i do not have a lot of luggage also i do not need a lot of power for the roads i'll hit no highways hotel for the night. Uh, central roads in town that I've seen yet are made of stones, which gives you a feel of a historic place like here. Okay, welcome. Thank you. Hello. This is the festival for breakfast tomorrow, uh -huh. from the clock to 10. Now it's a open uh, to 10 o'clock. Awesome. Okay. Welcome. Yep. Where are you from? Uh, originally Russian. Yeah. Yeah, now it's San Francisco. San Francisco? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. First time in Guatemala? Yep. Traveled in Bogotá? Uh, I rented here. Yeah. It's a rental bike. Here? No, no, no. Yeah. But I have my bike there oh, and I rented here. Yeah. yeah, Antigua. Antigua. Oh, yeah. Yep. Do you like it too? Oh, yeah, it's so beautiful. Yeah. It's crazy beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Hey, my name is Pedro. Huh? My name is Pedro. Pedro. Alonso. Okay, hello. Okay, yep. okay welcome. Thank you. Unloading to my hotel. 
Ah, uh, this duffel bag. It's awesome that you can make a backpack with it, but it's not comfortable at all. It's like, uh, and it doesn't have wheels and it's pretty bulky. So you have a very little stuff inside, but with very little stuff, it is pretty big and heavy already. So I'm not sure if this is my perfect uh, fly and ride solution yet. Uh, with all my love and respect to Moscow Moto, I might look for something else. Uh, what are you using for flights with luggage, with motorcycle luggage? I would appreciate any tips or links, like something that you can comfortably transfer uh, in the airport and something that is really uh, comfortable on a motorcycle and comfortable on your back so that you unload and uh, load and unload also uh, yeah if you if you know a perfect solution tell me for this this bag would be perfect if it has wheels because in the air and also i would um, have something that opens up uh, from from the top when it is mounted on a motorcycle because uh, this bag right now is just you can access everything that is inside only from the sides and it is long uh, in, in a long shape so everything that is in the middle or and it, when you when your bike is standing it's standing on the angle because it's on the side stand so it's really hard to access everything that is um, on the left side, on the si side that is looking down. And of course, I I have a workaround around all that, except that I have to transport it to, through airports and it's, it's a disaster. <laughs> but yeah, tell me if you know a perfect solution, I would appreciate it. Lunch slash dinner with the view, with the view on Montana and Lake. Isn't that awesome? That was it for today. Thank you so much for watching this, and I'll see you next Sunday.